as Exagrius once more offers to Cerberus one of his favorite sacks. Okay. I definitely think I had it in Marvel 2 configuration. Holy shit. Got here as quickly as I could. Huh. Confronting you like this. It's different now. Still. It is responsibility just as before. There is to be no escape from my realm. Ultimately, I must see to that myself. That's the spirit, Father. As for me, I find the candor of our interactions here to be rather refreshing, I must say. Especially the interactions between my weapons and your physique. You're tough, but you're an easy target. And you are strongly, though slippery, blast you. All that pent-up rage behind your smiling words. Come, unleash it once again. I expect you to go all out. To the death. To the death. <laughs>
With your youth comes a certain strength, it seems. I cannot remain. I did it. Having once more gained at the surface of his grim-faced father's realm beneath the earth, resourceful Zagreus makes his way toward the one-time abode of Radiant Persephone. It is a journey of considerable distances, which he has already completed many times, and which has always ended in the same result. So, imagine he made it there with just time enough to water the crops and tidy up a bit before... Huh? Sure, Mother's cottage is perfectly fine. Hypnos must be on break. Excellent work, my son. Hmm. Were you able to make it to my cottage on the surface, Zagreus? I hope my lavender patches are doing all right. I am. Um... I couldn't make it all the way there, Mother. It's like, without your presence on the surface, I am unable to hang on for very long at all. Ah, I was afraid of that. Well, don't despair. I placed a charm upon my seedlings there that ought to keep them flourishing well on their own. Your duty now is simply to escape. You keep it up. I will. Thank you, Mother. The Queen is back. You did it, lad. We must have lots of catching up to do, or patching up. And I'm to understand that your escape attempts, they are officially approved, isn't that so? That's so indeed, sir. Especially for now, at least. I'm going to keep on fighting to the surface. Helps me to vent a bit, and like Hypno says, it makes the underworld a better place. Though indirectly, I suppose. Well, then I look forward to working with you in a more formal capacity. And it is my sincerest hope that you, your mother, and your father learn to get on better with each other now. Thank you. And it's mine as well. No way. Keep out of there, I said. Can't do that here. Father, all these shades, aren't they going to let on that mother's back? What if word spreads and the Olympians find out? You are so well accustomed to defy me that you forget there are no others, either living or dead, who would so dare. None in this house shall speak of this until we are prepared to make any announcements on our own terms. Sounds like you've got it all under control. What is this? Say, Orpheus, I heard what must have been a song of yours. It went something, something in the blood. You know that one? It was amazing, mate. Oh, that one. Yes, I know. I mean, it was a favorite, I was told, by those who listened to the music I created with my muse. It was a most productive time back when we were alive. Would you ever sing it again? I highly doubt it, no. Mother, is there something I can do to help with all of this? I spend too much time away from the house. Please, let me know. You are already doing what you can to help, my son. Continue doing so. Matters are at stake here concerning you and all of us. Your support and choices in this shape the outcome that shall come to pass. I understand, and I will do my best. Thank you for taking care of everything. I have every faith in you, Mother, and in this house. 
Farewell. Farewell. Megaris not around. The featured house servant Achilles. Chef. Always a pleasure. What's in stock? <laughs> 